Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, yeah, so uh yeah, I um kind of just wanted to wait a minute on the whole uh you know, getting these pieces uh, I ended up landing a tool part. Um you guys can see it's just a it's kind of like a retrofit, but I'm going to be using these for a lot of different things. One of them being, uh, you know, just getting modules on the moon, uh, you know, moved around, and it should help overall with, like, you know, getting modules on the moon and all that good stuff. So, yeah, um, I'm going to probably try to, you know, this is my first real attempt at trying to get two pieces joined up and uh yeah this is gonna be a little bit hectic i don't know exactly if uh this is gonna be the best way to do it and everything else um the one thing i wanted to do is rotate this piece because it will make it easier if i put it sideways now I, i'm gonna put the gear up on these i brought the gear down to help make a little bit of clearance and to push these things around and you know hopefully this doesn't destroy anything oh god the one thing you gotta get used to on Minmus is the fact that there's like almost no gravity at all so everything you do has like extreme circumstances or extreme repercussion if you screw up and it always seems to go in favor of screwing up now the one thing I am a little bit annoyed with is um, the design of this stuff isn't exactly the best I, I don't mean that um, you know that this isn't working it's working uh, pretty good it's just um, I've encountered a few bugs already and uh, I'm thinking of redesigning, possibly, but that's like a really big possi possibly. I, I don't uh, really see the need in trying to redesign this. The uh, only problem that I am encountering is that uh, when I go to connect to pick up one of these pieces, um, sometimes a, this crane itself actually kind of gets jostled and it lifts up and it pops the tires on you know in certain spots like uh when i was trying to pick up this piece it would pop specifically this tire and this tire just those two and that's it so i'm thinking um getting a ground crew like very soon is going to be um a very big necessity it, it, i don't see this being possible without a ground crew and yeah it's you know, building stuff, I can tell already, is going to be kind of like watching grass grow, but not in a bad way. It's just, uh, you know, if you look at, um, you know, the amount of time it takes for me to just grab a piece and then move it, it's a little slow. Now, what I'm going to try to do is bring this alongside of this one and just kind of work the wheel in there somehow and I don't know if it's going to be even possible for me to dock anything this episode but I figured I'll show you a little bit of construction uh, the I didn't change the name on this but basically this piece once I'm done with it I'm gonna put it back on on this little lander piece I've made and I'm gonna eventually carry that off about you know 2.5 kilometers away that way um it gets unloaded so it doesn't need to, you know i don't need construction pieces to be loaded constantly because i'm not once this thing's built i'm not going to need any construction nor the scaffolding stuff around here but what i'll eventually do is if this one takes off and it works very well i will probably colonize this whole canyon i'll maybe put one here and one over here and one over here you know i'll make outposts compared to i'll make one mega base and then small outposts basically but 
it's going a little slow just a tidbit but I, I don't really have like you know I don't plan on orientating these in a specific you know um, way I, I, I mean I'm just gonna pick them up and basically move them around if my tires do pop in this episode I'm just going to kinda call it there and um, I'm just going to launch a ground crew the first Minmus base ground crew now I'm just gonna dock this as you can see it just drops real nice and gently now get back to the crane here we go now let's try to get this piece over here I'm loving these rover wheels by the way guys uh, you know you guys a lot of you new people might not know but you know I've been making rovers for a long time and one of my major problems was is backing up and um, going you know forward or whatever else you know sometimes you know RCS was like my main mode of function when I had to do stuff like that and I'm probably gonna hit this part here which isn't going to be a good thing I'll just kinda bump into it real slowly hopefully the tire doesn't pop but yeah these tires aren't the best tires I would say I would love to have those huge ones, but that would, you know, when I designed this thing, I initially didn't want to have, like, those massive tires, only because um, it, it's just, they're too big and too heavy, and getting it here would have been a lot harder than it was, so, you know, if, we're, like, worst case scenario, I'll eventually launch another moon crane with uh, the bigger tires. Now, if this thing will swing around, if this will kind of pushing it around, I don't really like doing this kind of stuff because generally when you kind of move stuff around this way, things break real easily. Uh, this game, I, I have had so many problems with breaking stuff in this game. It's, you know, the one thing that's, you know, like you can basically for like destroy a whole mission just by taking a small small silly chance and that's gonna hit the docking ports I think yeah alright well let's see what we can get done here if this gets turned the right way I'll be able to kinda work it a different way is it worth it let me work it yes I just made that kind of a reference um <laughs> All right, this this looks like it's going to go. But yeah, overall, not too many problems. Just the tires, mostly. Uh, you know, and, and the gravity. That, that, that's the only other problem. I'm sure if this was a moon base, it'd probably be so much easier. It would probably would be like a joke. But yeah, it's... um Really isn't... Uh, I can't think of anything else. I mean, there is a little bit of a gap between these, and the weirdest part is, is like when you're on Kerbin, and you, Kerbin design things do not apply well when you're going to other, like when you're going to Minmus. Um, and I found that out a long time ago, and I kept on trying to make sure that this thing would be all right. And um, I can tell that just because of the errors that I made with Kerbin this thing is having problems already and you might ask what kind of problems well basically when you design um, the rovers and you put gaps between stuff um, depending on what kind of gap you make if it's a small gap generally it will work out well in your favor and uh, you know you'll be able to pick up whatever it is but oh god I hope this doesn't freak it out Please. Oh, yeah. The wheels broke. Yeah, see, that's the main problem right here. And I think I'm going to launch a major ground crew for now. Because I can't... This thing uh, definitely is very functional. It's just that making sure these wheels are working... I'll put the gear up. It's causing problems. Um, 
making sure these wheels are efficiently working and all that other stuff, uh, you know, it kind of becomes a problem. Uh, you know, at this point, I would almost say aircraft wheels would be better, or if anything, you design it so you have an aircraft wheel here, and then a regular rover wheel, and then they both hit the ground at the exact same spot. So you get the function of the rover wheel, but you also have the durability of the air aircraft wheel where it can't pop. So let's see, um, let's see if we can accomplish anything with this episode. Um, the wheels popping isn't a bad thing. Uh, you know, these wheels are kind of crappy, but what I will say is once you get a ground crew down, if anything pops, you can repl you can fix these wheels for people who don't know that. But let me get the gear down on this. And, uh, I'm gonna drop it and rotate it a little bit. Or at least try with this gravity um you kind of you get some leeway when stuff breaks like this um it doesn't really affect it so much but you know it, i mean if you're trying to do some like heavy maneuvering then yeah it really does kind of affect it but oh god please don't connect again i should have put the gear back up gonna connect I think yeah all right yeah uh, I definitely just got a, a TKO on the <laughs> rover from that last connection um, sorry not the most eventful episode uh, my next one will be basically uh, getting a manned crew down and I'm going to repair the wheels and I will show the docking of it and everything and connecting of the pieces. Uh, sorry it isn't the exactly best episode. Um, you know, I kind of wanted to show you just kind of a little bit of an update on what I'm doing. And yeah, this moon base, once I work out the little kinks like this stuff and I can start getting, you know, I figure out the functionality of it better and, and you know, how to operate this thing more effectively. I probably will end up showing you some really cool stuff. Uh, I plan on joining up all three of these pieces in a row. And, you know, some of the other stuff I'll join up and I'll show you uh, kind of how the moon base is going to go from there. It's going to be amazing, guys. That's all I can tell you. So, if anything, just hold your horses and uh all that other good stuff and check out the youtube or the i mean not the youtube but the uh, twitter and the facebook for the updates for when i when i eventually get this get these things all docked up and uh yeah subscribe and i will see you next time